Hey, boys and girls. Melon Man here. I am down in sunny Florida having a wonderful time with my son. And uh, I am just pulling up on a call right now with a uh, old contact of mine, Jake Breathe. Uh, Jake is a um, meditation, guided meditation expert. Uh, he does sound meditation and he does um, breathing, uh, very conscious breath work um, and uses sound therapy to help people achieve deep, deep states of guided meditation. Wonderful uh, healing, energetic practice and work. I've worked with him myself personally and had um, uh, med guided meditation services and sessions with him. And it's fantastic. It's awesome. So I'm just catching up with him on what he's doing, what's going on, and uh, talking to him a little bit about a goal. I want to talk to him about a goal, about a vision that I've got inside my mind. I'd love to collaborate with him on it. So I want to do a little bit of brainstorming with him. Um, so I just wanted to talk about the possibility of us pulling something together in the new year, and I wanted to see where he was at with it. Jake Breathe is uh, located um, in the Hamilton region. So he does uh, um, personal guided meditation and small group guided meditations in the Hamilton region, Hamilton Halton area. So he's very local. And um, I'm thinking about trying to pull something together for Collingwood in the first week of the new year. I think that's the time of the year when people um, are ready to make some changes in their life. They're, you know, you're, you're thinking about what's happened the year before. You're thinking about what you want to have happen in the new year. And I think it's an important time. I love to do it at that time. I like to go up to the spa in Collingwood at that time. I like to um, go to the Scandinavian spa and spend a day there. I'm thinking that I would like to make this into like a three-day trip where I head up on the Friday morning and uh, we can do uh, teaching and coaching on Friday night. We can head over Saturday morning early. We can spend the, the four or five, four to six hours at the spa to, to start op to open the day and then more coaching, teaching, guided meditation on Saturday evening, collectively with Jake and I, and then on Sunday morning, um, wrap it up with more guided coaching, meditation, teaching, and uh, keep it um, you know healthy, healthy uh, vegan meals for for the weekend, and uh, get people starting off 2020 on the right foot. And this is just the vision that I've got inside of my head. It's a, it's a vision that I would like to see come to reality because I love teaching. I love helping people step forward and create change in their life. It's helpful for me and I love to help people. It inspires me. So I'm looking to get inspired for the new year. I like to set up things in my future that um, are calling to my spirit, that are lifting for my spirit. And uh, this is just an idea that's in my mind, so I want, I want to talk to Jake about it. I am down in Florida. I am down with my son. I am uh, having a really nice um, bonding family time with my son, a loving time with my son. Um, and a loving time with myself. And all loving times start with love for the self. So I'm first of all foremost loving me for some, some time, um, for a little break, instead of always giving, which is not a bad thing <laughs> at all. That's a, a big part of me. But if I don't take time to give to me, that I can overgive 
of myself and uh, that is not loving the self and that will not create success and some people are big givers and some people are big uh, receivers and love is giving and receiving and each one of us has to take time out of our busy schedules out of our busy lives in order to um, love the self and love uh, everyone else in our lives, love our entire lives. It starts with giving love and receiving love in each moment for ourselves. I think um, there's a big correlation between uh, healing all things in body, mind, life, um, and health and vigor and wellness um, with loving the self. And, and that's, that's what's at, at the heart uh, and the root of all illness, all pain, all problems, all issues. Uh, as above, so below. It is a universal law. Um, things uh, originate within within the self first in the mind and then the first area of manifestation in the body and then from the body outwardly into the life so if we've got physical pain in the body uh, physical um, health issues if we've got physical um, issues with body fat or um, sleep problems or digestive problems or whatever physical ailment we've got, anxiety, depression, um, loving issues, uh, patience issues, um, not able to manage frustration, anger, mood, happiness, joy. At our roots, we are joy and happiness. If we get to spend the time with the self and come into the joy and happiness, we come into the health into the joy, into the happiness. But we've got to take the time to love the self in order for that to happen. So when we're caught up in the throes of roles, careers, paying bills, um, being a parent, being a father, being a, being a, um, a brother, a sister, a friend, uh, fulfilling career obligations, a role, when we're caught up in a substance, coffee, alcohol, uh, drugs, marijuana, um, even it's even, it doesn't matter what it is, it's something outside of the self. And I'm not saying that you can't indulge in any of these things. All things in 3D reality are a gift and can be enjoyed and should be enjoyed. But when we're doing it every single day or multiple times a day, um, we're caught up in it. We're caught up in it like we are caught up in our roles and we are not our roles. Yes, I am a father. Yes, I am a trainer and a coach. But first and foremost, I am a being and I need to be with me, first of all, for my health to be 100. Um, I, I, I can indulge in a cup of coffee or a food. I can indulge in that. There's nothing wrong with indulging in anything. But when I need to eat, three, four to five, six times a day, like the, the, re the typical recommendation is to eat six small meals a day, protein-based meals with fat and vegetables. If, that, if that's the common typical re recommendation, make sure you get your vitamins and minerals. This is how I get my health. This is how I attain my health. Uh-uh. This isn't how I attain my health. I don't attain my health from something outside of me. I step into my health, which is something inside of me. I have 100% health and vigor and love and light within me. And I can reach to it and I can achieve it and I can realize it. But I can't when I'm stuck in the throes of a role or I'm stuck in the throes of a substance or a habit or a behavior uh, when, when I'm caught up in sex and why my wife isn't having enough sex with me or I'm needing to go shopping in order to be happy or I need to get a bigger house or a bigger car or something more than what I have in order to be 
what I'm supposed to be. My joy is outside of myself. It's not me. This is a loss of self. This is not the solution. This is not where health is found. Um, there's more to health than this. And uh, all things in the body and life can heal. Body fat can go away. Doesn't need to be there anymore. It's a change of thought. It's a change of understanding. It's a change of habit, behavior, and practice, right? That makes that happen. It, it, yes, you do need to eat less food. Uh, that's called unfooding, I call it. D it happens as you detoxify the body. As you detoxify your body, your needs and requirements for food, for substance, for sex, for all things will come down and you get less and less and less. I am now able to function on very little or no food at all. And uh, I can often go extended periods of time just on fluids, just on liquids, just on water, just on um, uh, juices, raw juices, even pasteurized juices or teas, or, or, um, or if I want a, a, a just soups, just soups. I can go extended periods of time this way and feel very happy and very content and very fulfilled and not starved or, or anything like that. And I know what the mind says. The mind says, I don't want to do that. And I can't give up that. And I can't do this or that's no fun. Or I get my happiness from my coffee and, or I'm different because of this. But listen, we're, we are all different individuals. But really what we are is uh, different habits and behaviors. And here he is. Yes. Oh, oh. Brother. Jake, breathe, brother. How are you, my man? John, how are you, buddy? Can you hear me, man? Yep. Can you hear me? All right. Perfect, bro. Good. Perfect. Glad to have you on. Making, thanks for making the time for me today, bro. Yeah, of course, man. Always for you. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks. What, what's been going on with you? Dude, <laughs> do you got two days? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to, to, to share the time and understand, bro, what's been happening. <clears throat> I remember the last time we talked was in your basement, I believe, right after I went through the split with my wife. And um, so that's been a rocky, rocky road. But dude, doing really well now. Um, ice baths, nutrition, breathing, and just like been up and down, up and down, up and down. But every time I get, I'm thinking of it like reps, bro. Like you don't just hold the weight, you fall off and you bring it back up. And every time I'm doing that, I'm getting stronger. So it's not about being perfect, bro. Yeah. It's not about yeah. being perfect. You cannot be perfect, especially when, when we're even, when we're younger too, right? I mean, you're a young man. Mm -hmm. You're a young man. So uh, as, as, as in our youth, especially more so, um, I think we need to experience things to decide, right? Like we're still deciding what we want. We're clarifying things. So you're going to have to go this way to find out a little bit and feel this and know that and decide, try it on for a while, right? That's normal. Definitely. I always tell people, man, that if you want to make a change, you got to set yourself up uh, to, for this yin and yang. We got to set ourselves up for the duality of three dimensions. It, it's only natural. So I tell people, if you can try to get four days of the week where you're, where you're good, yep. and you give yourself three days where you got a little bit of wiggle room, you give yourself a little bit of breathing room, a bit of freedom, because Life is not supposed to be eliminate everything and live in a box. That's not what life is. Right. It's not what it is either. Right? Life is the freedom and opportunity to choose. Yeah. To choose your circumstance, to choose your life, to choose your path. It's free will, right? That's right. Life's free will, man. So you can't say, oh, you, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. You can't do that right? Each mm. person has to come to that 
point when they are ready, that they don't want to engage in that anymore. That's for them when they are ready. Yeah. It's not something you force. Exactly. Exactly. And that was me, man. I was forcing myself to do the diets. I was forcing myself to lose the weight and like, dude, my inner child needed those Oreos. My inner child <laughs> needed that. <snack. laughs> but I'm getting past it, man. I'm getting awesome, past it. buddy. And that's great that you're, that you're honestly openly saying that because people need to be vulnerable and share what's going on. It's important. It's a massive part of the healing process and we have to be comfortable with ourselves, man. Mm -hmm. We have to be comfortable with ourselves and embrace ourselves right where we are. Right. And what happens is if you start cleaning yourself up and you're going like four or five days where you're, where you're trying to do the right thing. If you keep repeating that, you'll start to see that, Hey, you know what? I feel better when I do this. And when I do that, I don't feel as good. So I'm going to try to do this more than that. Exactly, man. hundred percent. And then for me, at least it's rewriting my, my, uh, my comfort zones and my relaxation. So it's like, all right, you did this. That's good. Well now go get your cake and go watch a movie. That's like a heroin addict being like, Hey, I'm clean for 30 days, 31. All right, here we go. Like <laughs> it's not how it works. <laughs> And I know what you mean. You don't, you can't be perfect. So the four, three is a good rule, but like, I want more than that, man. I want the six, one. I want to get this quick. <laughs> you know me, John, let's get this. I know. And I'll, and so many people come into my place and talk to me and that's exactly what they say. Come on, man. I'm ready. No, I'm seriously, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. But, but I'm telling you, if you think you're going to live without Oreos again for the rest of your life, like, that's true, man. That's very true. You got to face what's real, right? You got to face what's real. And, and, and even though for me, I'm pretty close to saying that I don't need to have that stuff really, not very much at all. I don't need processed food really in my week anymore, Jake. Like I can go six, seven, eight, 10, 14 days without it now, like, and be happy and comfortable mm -hmm. like feeling better and best that way and, and so that can happen but i'm not gonna say i'm never gonna do that again mm. christmas easter like i mean the last time thanksgiving i just stayed raw i didn't i didn't really I had some peanut butter, I had some nuts, some heavier things, I had some honey, I had some figs and dates. Yep. So I did have some heavier things for sure, but I didn't have to. And I'm not saying I, I, I won't eventually give that up, but I'm not gonna commit myself to either one. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna do that again. Right, right, yeah. That's where you get yourself for sure. You're bound by your words, your thoughts and words, and and what you what you resist persists. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> so you don't so you don't want to empower it by saying you can't do it. Right. Right. I want to make myself choose lovingly. Mm. The mm -hmm. other thing. So it's like, if I practice this and I practice that, and I give myself four days and I give myself three, and I start to get upset with my three, and I start to feel really more and more good about the four or five days, mm -hmm. then I'm choosing it out of love and not forcing it not away from me. You have to do, you gotta do, yes, yes, yes. I'm not forcing it away from me. I'm embracing what makes me feel better. But that comes from being in this and being in that and being <laughs> in this and being in that. So you can't avoid it. True. True. It's a part of it. So don't like, if you feel inspired that I want to go six and one, I want to go six and one. Okay. Go six and one. But if you fail, it's okay, man. Mm -hmm. Dust yourself off. 
and and get get back on it. Mm-hmm. Definitely, man. Just dust yeah. yourself off and get back on it. Yep. The quicker, the quicker you get quicker back. Quicker and quicker and quicker. Yes. Quicker and quicker and quicker. You dust yourself off and get back on it. Because, you know, most of the people that come in to see me, they step in a pile of shit and they're, out, they're in the shit storm for two months, three months, six months, a year, five years later. They're like, fuck, I got to get, I got to lose weight again. Now I've gained 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds. Right. If you gain two, three, five, seven pounds, you go, shh, I got to, I got to change. So soon you, pretty soon you've got like a two pound sway, you know, pretty soon you've got like a, it's just a, it's just a day or two sway and you're back, you know, pretty soon it's just, it's just a meal. I got, I, I ate and then I'm back. Yeah. You know, the sway gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Yes, man. Yes. It, ha- it does. It does. I promise you. If. You keep attention to four days in the right. Right. And you keep coming back to that four days, five days in the right. Mm -hmm. If you start getting more and more comfortable with that, it will happen. It will happen. Yeah, man. (laughs) Dude, totally. I I needed to shed. It's weird. Like this like aspect of myself that, still needed to be healed and it's like i needed the food to help heal you need that comfort it's a part yeah. of it yeah 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 so it's like i was trying to like heal a part of me that wasn't ready to heal and that's where the internal conflict was the whole time i i i think we have to work our way through it and we have to eat our way through it now i have to tell you something that i've really noticed um you know being mostly raw now mm-hmm. and uh one of the big things that we're taught in society is that sugars are bad, right? That's one of the big nutrition no-nos. And, it, and it's one of the big stumbling blocks for, for blocking people from eating fruit, which is the ideal fruit food sugar for the body. Right. Now, I'll tell you, you know, going extended days without food and being really, really... Um, empty and dry um, and then having a, a meal where I take in fruits or fruit sugars or smoothies or juices which really raise up the sugar mm-hmm. right but there is like a emotional high that comes from the high sh- sugary foods and that elevates the psyche and elevates the being energetic space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that is a humongous part of um, even stimulating higher, uh, higher thought because you're used to it. You're used to it. So, you know, people li- living on these protein vegetable diets which are just low sugar diets which is what the trend is which is what they told the, the keto diet is protein fat and vegetable right stay away from starch stay away from bread stay away from fruit stay away from sugar stay away from juice mm-hmm. it's it's really a, a low blood sugar maintaining diet which is to heal diabetes so they say but it doesn't heal diabetes you can't heal diabetes with proteins and fats. Okay. They keep the blood sugar low, which is because they think diabetes is a blood sugar problem, that this is how you manage it. Mm. Yeah, it stops you from needing insulin, but it doesn't heal it. Right. No. The way to heal it is to unfood, empty the body out. The pancreas will clean and clear. It doesn't take long. 30, 60, 90 days, you can be over diabetes. You can get over any blood sugar issues. You know, yep. a lot of people have the um, low blood sugar problem where they get uh, hypoglycemic. Right. All blood sugar issues cure very quickly, 30, 60, 90 days. But you just have to, you just have to be diligent and committed yep. right? Yep. Uh, to emptiness and fruit. Fruit enters into the blood uh, the cells without insulin. And so it's, it's never a sugar to be afraid of at all. But the idea of sugar, blanketing sugar is bad. Uh-uh. 
I think we need it for the elevation of psyche and the elevation of energy. Fruit sugar, absolute. But if you want to relax and have that vegan meal that has um, potato or rice or pasta on the weekend and allow yourself to get that ease and that psychological rest and so many things that are associated with it, I think it's very important. And it's not something that we need to just go all of a sudden, a thousand percent, 180 degree the other way and think that that's going to cure things. Right. Especially when we're going through emotional turmoil, like relationship separation, huge. Mm -hmm. Career disarray, financial problems. I've been through bankruptcy. Uh, I understand uh, emotional stuff. Uh, with regards to self-worth and self-value and, and um, you know, how uh, other people in our, in our families are responding to us, whether it's our partner or our children or you know, something that's happened, a trauma in the life. These things, separation, divorce, a lot of self-worth stuff, like I'm not good because I, I, my relationship failed. Or mm -hmm. Even saying that it's failed, it's just a bad idea because I've chosen to separate from my partner, that that means that I'm not good. Right. That I'm not a good father. I wasn't a good husband. The... Bullshit. Yeah, man, total, total bullshit, but also the biggest voice in my head for those last. Encounters. Right, right. But a voice we got to work through. Definitely. A Definitely. voice we got to work through. And, and it, and it, um, and, it doesn't even mean that you, you won't get back together. I don't want to rule that out. I don't want to rule anything out. Mm -hmm. Either way you want to go, I'm 100% in support of either way you want to go. But either way you want to go, you are loved regardless. <laughs> Starts from within, man. You are love regardless. Yes. I am love regardless of what's happening around me. Mm -hmm. I am not my bank account. I am not my money. I am not what my partner thinks of me. I'm not what my Facebook friend says about me. I'm not what my client thinks about me. I'm not what this person that didn't buy a package thinks or says, or, you know, none of that is me. Yeah. I am the breath, Jake Reed. And every pause between, man, and the flow and the in and the out. That's it, man. It's all it I is. am the breath. The consciousness. Mm -hmm. The conscious breath. The flow. The energy that lies within the center. Within and around. And around. Once you get tapped into the within, you notice that it's all around, though, too, right? Because there's as a lot within, of people that, as within, so without. Exactly. There's a lot of people that aren't connected that are looking and looking and looking, and you're never gonna find it until you find this. Love the self first, and then realize that it's in and out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes from both poles. Uh, the power goes to both, moves in rhythm, rhythmical waves from both poles. Mm -hmm. So it's within and without. So love is giving and receiving, receiving the love here now. So sometimes we're in a circumstance, a situation, and we're like, where's the love here? There's no love here. And that's because we're just not seeing it, feeling it, finding it, because it is there. Mm -hmm. You take it a step further and you are the love there. So if there's nothing around you, you have to be that. You are the love. Find it within you. Mm -hmm. Mend it within you. And it's at least there. Exactly. But it's always there and around you. You're just not sensing it or finding it or feeling it. <laughs> That's right, man. You're interpreting what's going on around you as being non-loving. But it isn't non-loving. You're just interpreting it that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because this feels like 
something that happened before in my life. And mm -hmm. I think that that means that I'm not being loved. I'm being punished. I'm bad. Definitely. And, and maybe I deserve it because I haven't been a good husband. And then that comes back around. Then you ride that train. Oh, I'll just grab some Oreos then. And I'll like, oh. <laughs> maybe I'll just feel better if I just eat these. At least I'll take, they'll make me feel better. It's a comfort. It's an emotional yep. thing. Yeah, it's cool though, because that voice that like that comes up, what I was doing was I would eat anytime that would come up. And it's like the come up is to release and I would eat to then bring it back down and then wonder why I feel like shit on this food. Oh, okay, beat yourself up for not eating right, then go back to that. Then the emotion comes up, then eat. Like, what a vicious cycle, man. It's crazy. It's crazy what we do to ourselves. And when you don't eat, those things come up. Yeah, I'm on uh, almost 48 hours into this fast, dude. And it's been like the first 24 was brutal. I didn't even leave my house yesterday, man. Just like going through the ringer. And now I've like broke through the first wave at least. And I'm feeling good, man. Yeah, right? Yeah. You break through it. Yeah. But you got to sit with it. That's it's, It brings me back to plant medicine, man. You sit with that uncomfortability. Sit with that uncomfortability. Or an ice bath, same type of thing. Embrace the discomfort of the ice, the cold water. Yep. Embrace that cold water and say, ah, oh, like, there's love here too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of the most loves in there, man. It's The wild. love is here too. Yep. It's not only in the comfort. Mm-hmm. So can I find the love here? And then when I do, then there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. When I've put it out there and I've made myself vulnerable and I've spoken about it and I've talked about it, then what do I have to be afraid of anymore? Mm -hmm. When I felt that inside of me and I sat with it and, I'm like, and, I, and I didn't do something to cover it up with food or drug or sex or shopping or holiday or escape. Yep. I just sat with it and felt it. And then I go, this is what it is. It's not anything bad. It's like, I'm alone and I feel this thing inside of me, this energy, like identify it. What is it? You feel it? Is it in your chest? It is in your neck? Is it in your shoulders? Is it in your back? Mm -hmm. Where is it? What is it? Yes, yes. Inquire about it. Feel it. Well, what are you? Yes, exactly. What, what do I need to know? Yeah. Speak to it. Yeah. Talk to it. Invite it up. Come up. <laughs> Come up. I love you. Come up. Let me see. Let me yeah. understand. Let me have a relationship with you. It's me. I need to have a relationship with myself. I need to talk to myself. I need to say, I need to take the time to be quiet and talk this out with me. Oh, dude, you're on the gold, man. That's it. That's it. It's all we need. That's it's, it's easy. It's so easy. Be quiet, be still, be empty. Heal your body and life, bro. It can happen. Yep. Oh, dude, the power, man. My palms are sweaty listening to you talk, homie. <laughs> Buddy, you know what? I love to do this for myself. I love to do this for and with other people. I, uh, I think there's times of the life cycle that these things are important. Mm -hmm. I think there's, uh, you know, healing that has to happen after trauma. Definitely. I, I think that um, there are key times during the year when we really should really pull, try to pull vision and clarity together. Mm -hmm. And I think that the first week of the year, the beginning of the year is in a very important, crucial time. I think the beginning of every single day is a very crucial time too. But if you're not ready to commit to every single day yet, at least commit to the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, treat it like the four, five, four, three, right? Commit to that, then at least you come and then get it closer and closer. Yeah, man. It, it, it needs to become a daily thing that every single morning you make a practice time of being and loving the self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I don't be in love, if I just get up and start doing, 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 that's not being, that's not loving me. Yep, it's fast. Yep. I got to be still. I got to be with my breath, with the consciousness. I got to be present in the moment. That's where the spirit resides. Spirit is emotion and will. Hmm. Feminine emotion, masculine will. Spirit. Our emotions and our will. And we need to sit in our emotions and our will, which reside in the present. The present is divided by moments, divided by moments. The moments are divided by breaths. Okay. Each breath is a moment where we can do it unconsciously or we can do it consciously. And we can interact with our moment consciously or unconsciously. Love is giving and receiving in each moment. And each moment is separated by a breath. <laughs> and that's why I'm calling Jake Breathe because this guy is the master of the breath. This is what he teaches. Oh, Jake. Oh, don't, don't put that much on me, homie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the breath master right here. Jake, breathe. <laughs> Talk a little bit about what you do, man. Tell me what you do. Tell my friends, my followers, what you do. Introduce yourself and what you do for people. Oh. Many different things. I came into this path not believing in energy, <laughs> um, thinking that chakras were made up. I signed up for my first breath class, and within 15 minutes, my arms are vibrating, my hands are locked in T Rex position. And um, I was an instant believer, man. It completely flipped the way that I view, the way that I interact with the world. Um, Fast forward through about a year and a half of personal practice, I ended up getting certified in body ascension breathing. And currently what I do is I lead people back to themselves um, as best as I can. I find that the breath is such an intimate connection to yourself that when you get to these states, you can, oh, it's almost like letting down the walls that we've built up. It's not so much bringing stuff in. It's almost like you say with the unfooding, letting it out, letting it go, letting it go so the true self can come in. So through that, man, you get crazy like connections to like past loved ones, to yourself, to your highest self, out-of-body experiences. Uh, the chemical DMT is released through the lungs. So you get like hallucinogenic experiences as well. This physiological scientific change within the body from doing totally. this type of work. And Jake, it doesn't mean we have to be perfect. It's it's a little easier to do it for someone else than it is for ourselves, isn't it? Hundred percent, hundred percent, man. Like, take yourself out of the picture and then give yourself advice that way. Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah, man. I lead I lead energetic power circles, breath activations, didgeridoo, crystal bowls, vibration, sound oh, therapy, uh, energetic healing. Yeah. Let it even all touch, out. even physical touch, meditation, guided meditation, deep healing, energetic healing. I love what you do, man. I love the experience myself. I would recommend anyone to do it. And that's why I wanted to reach out to you today to talk about collaborating with you. I have a vision. I would love to see if we can make it a reality. Beautiful. Um, I love the Scandinavian spa in, uh, in uh, Collingwood, Blue Mountain. Have you ever been there? Never been. Love this place, man. My favorite uh, place in Ontario, I think. Really? Okay, sweet. Love it. I love it. And that's the hot and cold. It's hot and cold. Okay. You love the cold bath, the ice bath. Yeah, so man. You're going to be at home there. You're going to be at home there. Totally. Right? 
So um, what, what my hope is, is to collaborate with you um, and uh, do some teaching with people, provide them with proper food and nutrition, accountability and support for a weekend, give them knowledge and information, and combine that with guided meditation and breath work and sound therapy, which is what you do. So if you could be leading a guided meditation, a sound therapy treatment on a Friday night, on a Saturday night, on a Sunday, and I'll support that with teaching and guidance and, and coaching as well, too. 100%. And we rent a spot up in Collingwood, and we, we rent out four to six people to join us. Small, intimate group where everyone... Yeah, gets the people that want to make a change and plan 2020. Yes, yes. Great for us to plan 2020 for ourselves. Great for us to bring our energies together collectively to do it as a group. Mm -hmm. Great to have a, a leader, uh, a meditation instructor, sound therapist, energetic healer there with us. And we can add movement, yoga, and exercise, and uh, a trip over to the spa to make it even more therapeutic and more healing and, and, and just really get some stuff down on paper that we want to see come into reality in 2020. Yeah, man. More healthy beings, more healthy minds, more empowered people ready to take action in this world. However that is to you, like I don't, I'm not a magical healer. I just teach you how to breathe. And then you're the magician. You let that stuff come Your up. body, your energy, the love yeah. and light that's within you will heal you in your life. But you got to yeah. get yourself to that energy daily. And if we, if you learn how to do it by getting around some professionals and getting some coaching, and getting some guidance, then that's helpful in the journey of bringing it into more of, more of your daily practice. Totally, man. Totally. And healing for both of us. It's having a GPS with your car. Like if you want to go to LA, I'm sure you can hop in right now and you'll find your way there. Or do you want to have a GPS that's going to show you exactly which way to go, how to take you there? It's kind of what it comes down to. Coaching, buddy. That's coaching. coaching. Yeah, man. Leadership, right? Yeah, man. You like the sound? Dude, I am looking forward to it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Come breathe with us. Come get cold with us. Let's do this. Yeah, all right. Cool. Okay. So I'm just going to then, um, we just sketched it out, right? I'm going to look at the dates. I'm going to look at like acquiring a spot. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to book the spot and then we'll, we'll try and sell tickets. Down, man. 100% down. Okay. Yeah, man. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Beautiful. Super exciting. Super way to, to, to uh, you know, kick off the new year. And it's, what's that? It's only like, it's only four or five weeks away. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. Do this. Four to five weeks away. So I'm going to get a date four to five weeks away and I'm going to have it um, up and, and uh, promote it very, very soon. I just wanted to talk with you first and I wanted to create a video so that we could kind of sketch out what we're thinking, what we're doing so yep. that I could use it as, as um, information about what's happening. And so I could introduce you to the group. Cool, man. Cool. Looking forward to it, bro. It's going to be sick. All right, bro. All right, man. Okay, so I'm going to pull it all together, and I will uh, send you some more details real soon. Beautiful. Looking forward to it, John. Thanks for the call. Awesome, bro. Talk soon. All right, buddy. Peace.